What's up y'all, Marvin here, Wisco, Black Cop Banter. Uh, out here looking at a uh, parking lot that we had crack filled before. I don't know why it always does that, why it's so bright back there. There we go. A uh, parking lot that we had looked at before, or crack filled before. Um, when asked previously why this customer didn't want a seal coat, uh, so they didn't believe in it, right? They didn't think it did anything. Um, we crack filled this probably six years ago, and I explained that uh, crack filling um, reduced oxidization, kept the surface and pavement from drying out, getting too brittle, um, and then losing that top aggregate. You can't really see it. I'll try, well, maybe you can. It is pitting awfully. Like the larger stones are just coming out, whether it's people turning or it's from plowing last year or whatever. Um, I got a call, hey, how do I reduce that? Well, I can't rewind the clock now, but we can reduce it from further exposure slow down that process by seal coating which we should have did in the first place so i wish i had this like to show everybody at every project when people ask me why we should seal coat but um this is it i'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll look at it and we'll kind of go from there all right so as you can see there's some pitting here right this larger rock is starting to come free whether it's turning or plowing or whatever um you know that's why we seal coat we seal coat to prevent oxidization to prevent this from getting brittle and drying out and starting to lose the rock starting to crack right we even routed and filled these ones and they still cracked and extended because there wasn't a seal coat here to help prevent moisture from going into the pavement like you see here and causing expansion expansion and contraction right so that's why all these cracks are forming this rain is here this wet spot and stuff is here from yesterday so it's still so saturated because the water isn't allowed to be on the surface and evaporate out in those areas there's still some underneath that car there underneath those trees there and that's all from yesterday you know when you get up on here you can still see it's still pitted right we're losing larger stone cracking more that is why we seal coat we seal coat to prevent oxidization so it doesn't get brittle and crack and we start losing our aggregate at the surface and then we prevent it from having water intrusion for expansion and contraction essentially erosion right those are the two reasons why we seal coat this pavement's 10 years old or so and it looks like it's closing in on 15 18 years old with proper maintenance you can prolong the life of this a lot farther. So that's why we do what we do when we seal coat and crack fill. And I'm not saying that you need to, you know, crack fill this every, or crack fill and seal coat it every year, every two years. Even one time would have left some residual sealer down in the lower parts of the terrain of the pavement and it would still be visible. It would still be blocking those air voids and helping with that. So even one time seal coat um, does help. But with proper maintenance, man, I don't know why the sun keeps doing that to it. But with proper maintenance, um, which you can develop a schedule, right? Every three years, every four years, every five years, whatever the customer wants to budget for the, that amount of time is at least some kind of plan to prolong the life of this pavement. So that's why we seal coat and that's why we crack fill. That's why we do them both um, to prevent this, right? To prolong the life of the pavement. You can do that, put a budget together for your customers, um, a timeline, three, four, five years, two years, whatever, and uh, work with them. And then they'll know what they're looking at. You'll know what you're looking at and you can develop a plan to keep the blacktop there a lot longer.